So what's up guys, I'm Shaboy, welcome to my top 5 Battlefield 4 plays. Sorry episode 13 took around 2 weeks to publish, I was sick with the flu and that kinda backtracked me a little bit. But winner of last week's episode was Bombino Sniper with an epic shot on a helicopter pilot while jumping back in his jet on Silk Road. Clip number 5 this week comes in from Exerator. He's running on Operation Metro with his Rambo setup, equipping himself with one of the biggest of guns in the game. Now he's behind enemy lines keeping the pressure on for his team to give that little push. That guy tried to knife him but always keep in mind never knife from the front on Battlefield 4. You may as well just put a gun to your head and pull the trigger than be counter knifed. But this guy is pretty impressive, I think he makes a, a quite an accessible push on Operation Metro but unfortunately he does turn the corner with a pistol and just gets annihilated. But great try from Exerator pushing on Operation Metro gathering himself then kills. Epic dude and hope to see some more Operation Metro in some future top plates. On to clip number 4 this week we have Reese Palmer playing some Rush on Siege of Shanghai in a tank. Now when I was watching this I was wondering when this guy was going to stop raking in the kills as he does get quite a few. He's running the all time favourite, the HMG cannon which is one of my favourites in my opinion. Picking up the leftovers which are, I think are desperate for his MCOMs. But I don't really know what the hell they think they are doing running past a 10 ton tank. But he does come up to his match which is another tank on the enemy team. I have to speed this up a little bit, sorry. This guy on the right hand side tries to hide. But unfortunately he gets a tank share right to the neck. The enemy tank tries to push up on him. But unfortunately Reese quickly enables his defence system. Which blocks all explosives from damaging him. One of the best defence perks I think that's out there for the tank. Reese quickly pushes up a notch and grabs the opportunity to put a shell into the side of the enemy tank and lights him up like the 4th of July. He now continues on his kill streak, pushing up and collecting two more kills on the enemies before his tank tear is over. Great defending dude, gathering 10 kills on that epic kill streak on Siege of Shanghai. On to clip number 3 this week, we have Bombino Sniper, and just watch this. Now if I'm correct, that was over a thousand meters. I can't read German but I'm pretty positive that was 1147 meters. This guy doesn't need to deploy from his base to rake in the kills as he's just... He's pretty good with a sniper pretty far away. Now he's looking for his third long distance kill. I think he gets a hit marker on this guy but simply takes another pop shot at him and picks him off like a sweet muffin. Jesus Christ. He's picking these guys up like bread and butter, but the most impressive kill comes at the end. Now if you can bank this as easy as he makes it look, then you sir are the god of sniping. Watch this. Bombino hits a moving target from over 1000 meters. Now that was sniping. You impressed me and I'm thinking he impressed you as well. And thanks to Bombino sniping for showing us how it's done on the battlefields. Now on to clip number 2 we have Pony Lion HD and this guy is known for his crazy stunts as you can just watch here he gets blown across the map in a DPV, spots a jet, quickly takes him out with an RPG, quickly jumps out before the car can explode and now he's parachuting down safely to the ground. I was confuzzled on either to put this clip second or first on this week's top plays but you guys can vote for your winner in the comments section down below. Pony Lion then exceeds to shoot a paratrooper before he hits the ground and quickly eliminates an enemy skiddled up with his RPG, picking up an extra few kills. Pretty epic dude and some sick kills and we'll hope to see you again next week in the top place, pulling off some more epic stunts. Now on to the final clip of this week's top place, we have Crystal Chris and the Little Bird on Silk Road. Quickly switching seats he takes out a jet who is gunning for him. He then flies down to the courtyard picking up an infantry kill. Then he travels to help out his teammate who is being attacked by an enemy helicopter. Quickly switching seats again he pulls out his RPG and takes him down like a sweet muffin. I'm not entirely sure what happened to his helicopter. I think he jumped out by mistake but he quickly collects it again. And I think yeah he picked up that little guy there. 
He heads over back to the courtyard and I think he's just going to pick up the last few remaining kills that he can get and capture that flag. He rode kills. That person tried to jump over that wall for safety but unfortunately for that guy he got ham sandwiched. And Chris is just picking up the last remaining kills he can receive. He makes it look pretty easy but these guys are trying to take him down with stingers and RPGs so it's pretty difficult for Chris to keep himself safe in the sky. He then tries to do the unpredictable and switch seats again with his RPG but unfortunately his RPG needed reloading. But he spots another infantry soldier so he quickly picks him up like a sweet bar of chocolate and I think that's all we're going to see from Chris. But epic piloting skills dude and great play. But I do hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the top 5 Battlefield 4 plays. If you did, please do leave a like on the video as it's much appreciated as it makes life so much easier to expand the series and brings in more competition for future episodes. But my name is Chaboy and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.